Alright, so we got a skrilla in the building right now. So let's pop him with you. You good? Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna start this like from scratch from the beginning, right? Yeah. So like growing up, like what type of kid were you like from young days, you know? Like what kind of inspired you to start rapping? Like did you have aspirations to rap from a young or? Yeah, I used to sing when I was younger. I used to sing and shit. Where, where, where? Uh, Where'd you get into like the whole singing? Like you started just singing yourself or like your dukes or like I singing? I was singing, my dad used to sing and shit too. So like, my dad used to sing reggae. Whoa, word, word, word. Word, word, word. So as a young and like, what type of music were you listening to? You listen to like, see, as you're saying, your, your pops was into reggae, right? So were you listening to reggae as a young and or? Like how young were you going back to? From like, elementary, like grade four, grade five, you know? Like young and this. Yeah, I was listening to like fucking, shit, grade four of those times. I listened to like Chris Brown and shit. Word, word, like uh. fucking Lil Wayne. Word, word. Yeah, Lil Wayne was buzzing around those times. So how old are you now? 21. 21, word, word. So like, oh nine 9 times, that's Lil Wayne. Like, the, yeah. those are the times. Soldier Boy and shit like yeah, that, right? Soldier Boy too, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, so basically, uh, you're from Ajax, right? Or you're from the East End? Yeah. From Ajax, okay. So like, everybody knows like in Toronto, like, Ajax and the East End is, is really multicultural, you know? There's very different type of cultures out there. You got like Caribbean, African, like different type of cultures. So do you feel like that kind of influenced your music a bit? Like, as you're saying, your pops was listening to reggae, you know? So did you do you implement that into your music or how does that work? do me, to be honest, like. Well, uh, should do your own thing. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so, um, and uh, just keeping on that same topic, like, Ajax, do you feel like there's like a, a, a sound, like a specific sound of Ajax or everybody just kind of raps in their own type of way? Because you know how some people say like Toronto has a specific sound yeah. or do you feel like Not you... Not really because everyone, no one really just like, it's rare that someone really just came from born and raised in Ajax. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they usually were somewhere else mm. then like migrated there. So like I think it's more like... It's not really like an Ajax sound I was saying, no. Word, word, word. It's kind of like everybody comes from a different place, so they bring their own, yeah, exactly. their own type of sound. Or even like, yeah, like their own shit, you know? Word, 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 word. I hear that stuff. So, um, before like you started rapping, were, were any of your homies rapping? Or did you like get influenced by your friends to rap? Or is it just your nah. own thing from, from the jump? Nah, dude. Word, word. So you just were like one day like, nah, I'm going a, I'm to a try out the rap shit, you know? I'm going to just try it out yourself. Yeah. So a couple of your songs, right? So like, I, I heard a couple of your songs were from like 2016 times, you know? Yeah. And I was listening to it and it, it kind of gave me like a, it kind of gave me like a Chicago type of vibe, you know? Like yeah, yeah, drill yeah. type of vibe, you know? So do you feel like that influenced your music or? Yeah, because when I started rapping and shit, that's what like, was popping, right? Word, word, word. Like those times I was like the fucking like... That was, that was like the Chief Keith. A G Herbal, yeah. Lil Bibby type shit, right? Yeah, I got a shit. Right, 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 right. Um, so speaking of that, like, how do you think the Toronto scene compares to the scene in like the States, like Chicago, Atlanta, even like the UK, like London? Like, how do you feel like Toronto stands against those scenes? Toronto is like, honestly, we're, we're building, right? Yeah, it's like right, they right. already, I don't know about the UK. Right. Like the states already had all the resources, yeah, all the right. platforms. So like obviously they're like more advanced than us, but we're getting there. Facts, facts, facts. We're yeah. building up, like yeah. we're, we're we're building fast too. So. One hundred, one hundred, one hundred. All right, so um, yeah, and I was also listening to one of your songs, um, Benji's on Bordens, yeah. and that was like on Link Up TV, which is like a whole that's like a whole UK type of yeah. uh program or whatever. How did you get involved into that? Like how did that come about? Yeah, my life's a movie, but don't call it. My gun made noise, yeah, it's roaring. My head tape flat, yeah, it's soaring. Take a trip for the town, yeah, we touring. Just trying to target different places and shit. Where, where? Like, go past, expand past just Toronto and shit. Right? Mm, like build up your fan base, basically. Yeah, exactly. 100, 100. So, um. And I was also listening to uh, First Day Out. Poor 
Pull up on ops, nigga. All my niggas, we born nigga. Pull up on ops, nigga. nigga. Tell me why your bitch keep calling nigga. Cause you were born so she don't fuck with you. Yo, so those, I was bumping that, right? So those boys, like, were those like, you wrote those in the bin or you came out, you just freestyled there? Like, how did that work? Word, 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 word. So you're just cooped up in your cell, just raiding and shit, right? Word. Do you have any more tracks coming up from like shit that you wrote from back then or was it just that? Too many. Uh, people say that the, the, the bars they write in the bin are like always their best bars, you know? Yeah, because you have so much. That's all you have time to do, right? Just to think and shit. 100, 100. Alright, so uh, in your opinion, what um, what's the realest bar you ever wrote? Like, one bar where it's like, this is the realest bar I've ever been. Oh, yeah. My last bit spent three years whoring. Show me that you for me. My last yeah. bit spent three years whoring. I <laughs> that one's like, that's real life, so. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, so, um, alright, so, in, in Toronto, I feel like the West End is kind of making a bit more noise right now compared to the East. Mm. Yo. You don't think so? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, that's in my opinion. I'm from the East too, you know, so I, yeah. I, I'm fucking with the East, but, like, from what I'm listening to, I feel like the West is, 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 is coming up a bit faster, so, do you feel like the East End needs to catch up, or are, are we, like, Neck and neck, what do you think? <laughs> like, I see what you're saying still. It depends how you're looking at it. If you're looking at like quality of music wise or just like who people are bumping like that. I feel uh, like who people are, but who's making the most like noise and shit? Yeah, I think the, yeah, the Western is making more noise. So not be biased. I can't be biased, right? Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Wait. Um, so right now, like, a lot of shit is going on with like, social media you got like dj academics doing some craziness on, on the net and like and police are kind of targeting rappers nowadays do you yeah. feel like that is affecting you like how all the social or do you even you just stay away from the social media bullshit or like yeah i don't i don't i just keep the politics for the politics you know oh, i know the music, for the music. Wait, wait. well how do you feel about dj academics and like what he's doing right now he's doing good stuff like end of the day it's still it's still putting like a positive light on the city and shit. Word, word, word. Facts though. So uh, do you have any like up and coming uh, projects dropping soon or? Drop, I got a few videos, audios, like word. a bunch of shit to be honest. Where anything like specifically you want people to look look forward to or? Video for a track called Fuck Love. Um, this whole, lots of, a whole lot of shit for 2021. Or any any shout outs you wanna do, like any any other rappers? Hey your homie over here he's, he's a rapper too, right? Yeah, shout out Rainick. Well, 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 well. Shout out shout out Mazer, the cameraman, shout out Cleb, the engineer, you know. Uh, shout out everyone, you know, that helps me out this shit, like on my whole team. Well, alright, so you know? Alright, so that that was A Skrilla. Uh Night in the Six. Um yeah, we're out.